Back in crime, a Wayne County man is dead after he was shot overnight. Goldsboro police say there are no suspects at this time. It's the first murder in Goldsboro city limits in 2017 after a record number last year. WNCT's Kelly Byrne has more on what the city's plan is to stop the violence. He was a loving person, a real person. Today, Rael Atkinson lost his cousin. Goldsboro police say 26-year-old Tyreek Moody was shot and killed in the 400 block of South Hollowell Street around 1.30 this morning. He was a good-hearted person, good-hearted, very motivated, loved his kids, good-hearted. It's the first homicide in Goldsboro city limits in 2017. However, over the last 12 months, this is nothing new. In 2016, Goldsboro's overall crime went down by 10%, but the city saw 11 homicides, a record eight in the first six months. One's too many, six or seven's probably our average, 11's a lot. City manager Scott Stevens says there's a collaborative effort between the city and law enforcement to combat this violence. There are a lot of factors beyond us that, that we may we can't control and then there are parts of it that we can control. Besides new security measures, they're working to build stronger relationships between police, the city, and the citizens. It's a constant effort for us to reach out in a non, you know, in times that aren't bad and try to develop the relationship. So when there is a problem, the community trusts us. Of last year's 11 homicides, six are still unsolved. Can't even walk outside, can't even have your kids play around, all this craziness. Atkinson hopes his cousin's murder doesn't become the seventh unsolved crime in 12 months. In Goldsboro, Kelly Byrne, not on your side. In Goldsboro, police are asking the public to utilize the Crime Stoppers number to call in tips related to these crimes.